Hey everybody, how's it going? Stout Man coming right back at you, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some stuff that I got at mostly the thrift store, but I also got one thing from Amazon, one thing from eBay, and one thing from Mercari. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to title this one. Uh, maybe just mostly thrift store finds. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I found some pretty cool stuff. I'm not even going to talk about in this video the stuff that I found for resale because, well, I haven't been doing much of that. I have been picking things up here and there that I know I can sell for a decent amount of money, but like I'm not buying as much because I have less time to do that and more time than I'm spending on like an actual job now. So it doesn't make sense for me with how much money I'm earning right now to spend as much time as I was trying to spend on that endeavor anymore. However, I will say that uh, I got a comment from uh, somebody. I, I really just wanted to say asshole there, but, you know, somebody who was just like, it's amazing what people were willing to do for $10. It's like, for one thing, you're missing the point. For another thing, who are you to judge what people will do for a buck? For fuck's sake, man. It's a fucking rough life out there. And if you think you're too good to do whatever the heck other people are willing to do for ten bucks, then you are just, like I said, you're just an asshole. That's all there is to it. But that comment aside, I'm going to go ahead and get into what I picked up today for myself. This is all stuff that I got for myself, for my collection. So, first thing I picked up was something I found at Goodwill. I did not think it was necessarily the greatest price for it or anything. I mean, compared to prices online, it's like not much cheaper than what you'd find online. But it's a movie I haven't seen yet that I really wanted to see. So I went ahead and picked up Father's Day here, starring Robin Williams and Billy Crystal. A Robin Williams movie I haven't seen. Yeah, I gotta correct that. And uh, Billy Crystal looks like in his prime. It seems like a pretty interesting film. I've seen this one out and about in the past, but the disc was not a good condition at that time, so I did not pick it up. I believe the last time I saw it was at uh, Half Price Books. And I was very tempted at the time to pick it up, but I did not because, again, the disc, not very good condition. This one, however, was in really good condition, so went ahead and picked this one up. It looks to be a pretty fun movie. I don't know if maybe this one's on like a print-on-demand service or something like that, but if it's not, all I can say is it does not appear to be on Blu-ray, so I believe this is the only way to get it on DVD. Which is odd, like you'd think a movie starring Robin Williams and Billy Crystal, even if it's not the best movie, and directed by Ivan Reitman, no less. I mean, you'd think a movie with that kind of credentials would have at least some kind of a cult following, and thus would have at least some kind of value to the actual DVD. But no, if you are also interested in this and didn't know anything about this movie... Guess what? You can go on eBay right now and get it for like five bucks. So <laughs> have at it. I found it for two fifty, and I was all right with paying that. I was like, you know what? That's not a bad price. It's maybe not the best price ever, but it's not bad. Next up, I found two sealed copies of some best of Saturday Night Live collections that I did not yet have in my personal collection and these were two titles that I have been wanting in my collection because well they're good stuff so I decided to pick up best of Saturday Night Live Phil Hartman Phil Hartman such a great comedian it's just so disappointing what actually happened to him his career was cut tragically short and yeah um, even when I bought this <laughs> The lady who was at the cash register was like, it's just too bad this guy killed himself. I'm like, wow, um, yeah, that's a little harsh. I mean, <laughs> uh, 
Just the way that she said it so nonchalantly was just like, <laughs> maybe you should be on this. And like, wow. But yeah, uh, Phil Hartman was a great comedian and he did some of his best work on SNL here. And well, best of Phil Hartman on SNL, I'll take it. Hell yeah. But I got to say for my money, my favorite Phil Hartman uh, moments were probably in we're in The Simpsons because he had some pretty memorable roles in that show and and even just as an, a voice actor he was pretty damn good so yeah definitely miss him I think most people do though so yeah when I saw this sitting there on the shelf factory sealed I couldn't say no factory sealed best of setting that live collection for two dollars and fifty cents not bad and then the next SNL best of set that I found factory sealed was the best of Eddie Murphy. Um, maybe not that much of a fan of what he's done in his later career, but early on in SNL, oh my goodness, he did some amazing stuff. He was absolutely hilarious in his early career and during these SNL moments so I definitely wanted to get this for my collection and again since it was brand new I couldn't say no like I always say it's hard to go wrong with the SNL best of sets and um, especially nice when you can get them for a really good price and maybe 250 isn't the best price ever but considering that it was factory sealed I was willing to do it because you know what yeah, if it's brand new, it hasn't even been opened yet, then it's worth a couple of bucks at least. You gotta figure. And yes, of course, I opened it, but that's because, well, it's for my own collection, and I can open whatever I want to in my own collection. Next up here, I found a movie I had never heard of or seen, obviously, since I'd never heard of it. But one that, when I saw it, I definitely had to get it, especially considering that it was also factory sealed, surprisingly. And that would be Night Shift, starring uh, Henry Winkler and directed by none other than Ron Howard. That's right, the guy who directed, or well, took over for the uh, other people who were directing the Han Solo movie also directed this movie that I've never heard of before. And I think the best part about it is it's Ron Howard from Happy Days directing a movie starring Henry Winkler from Happy Days. So they clearly knew each other and they clearly had a bit of a relationship, a professional relationship with one another before doing this film. And yeah, when I just thought about the implications of that. I was like, okay, this there has to be something to this. This has to be like kind of a hidden treasure of sorts that I just never knew about and never saw. So definitely want to take a chance on this. And apparently it also stars Michael Keaton in an early role. So that sounds pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if this is available on Blu-ray. Again, I, it might be, but it probably isn't. I don't know. All I know for sure is that it was brand new. Granted, it was like a really old Best Buy. Like, there was like a Best Buy sticker on it that said $5.99. And the Best Buy sticker was like from at least 10 years ago. <laughs> so it, it was factory sealed, but it had probably been sitting in someone's uh, closet or in their storage unit for years on end never opened and then somehow ended up here at goodwill where i got it and now i can watch it and not have to worry about if it's in any good if it's in good condition because it was brand new so pretty cool seems like an interesting film and definitely when i see things like that like directed by ron howard first of all i already know he's a great director second of all it stars Michael Keaton and Henry Winkler, especially the Henry Winkler part, it's like, sold. You've sold me, now I need to see this. It might not be very good, but with that cast, I have to see it. And then last but not least, from the thrift store from Goodwill, I found 
the prophecy or Karas the prophecy. Uh, the main reason I picked this up, it's an anime, uh, and the concept behind it, like the story that I was reading on the back, sounded really interesting. It's not a particularly valuable DVD by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, just listen to this for a minute, will ya? Tokyo, a city populated by both humans and ghostly beings. They exist in both dimensions, seen and unseen, spirits, apparitions, demons. The balance between these two dimensions has long been upheld by the city's guardian crow, Karis, and his masters. But that balance has been thrown into disarray as Iko, a former Karis, has attempted to seize power and bring order to the streets through force. The entity Yurin, who represents the will of the people, stands in his way with her newly risen Karas. Now an ageless battle stretching across both dimensions and killing humans and spirits alike is in progress. Karas is humanity's last hope. So just the very sound of that was like, wow, that sounds really cool, you know? It's a battle between humans and ghosts and all that. It kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that we saw in, like, Ghostbusters, you know? And, well, I'm, I've always been interested in paranormal kind of stuff. To think of, like, a paranormal action kind of story, an anime style, like, that sounds really cool to me. And, yeah, don't know if you noticed, but uh, Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard apparently is one of the voice actors the American voice actors for this show so I definitely had to pick this up just to check it out because it sounds really interesting and of course stars with Matthew Lillard I had to take a chance on that now we get to the stuff that I got from Mercari eBay and Amazon so first off from Mercari I managed to snag regular show on blu-ray this is the first and second seasons of regular show, and it was only $10, which is a really good deal because usually this one goes for like $15 to $20, if not more. So it's been one of those, it's like, I've had it on my wish list for a long time, but I never bothered to actually buy it because it was so dang expensive. Now granted, it's two full seasons on Blu-ray. $20 isn't necessarily too expensive for two full seasons on Blu-ray, but I'm a cheapskate, so of course I'm going to try and get an even better price than that. And wait and wait and wait until I find that price. And I finally did. $10, two seasons, fantastic deal. Now, I will say that as the uh, spring and summer is rolling around, I'm noticing a slowdown of things on Mercari. There's not that much going on there anymore. And when it, what is going on there is not a very good deal I just I feel like what's happening is that it's getting more into the yard sale season and uh, the, the thrifting season and stuff like that so there just aren't as many people putting stuff on Mercari right now I don't feel like I don't know why I don't know the ins and outs of that but I do know that I haven't found as many great deals on there lately so just the fact that I came across this is really cool, but it's like I was finding something at least like one or two things a week when I first started on Mercari, and now I'm struggling to find one thing a week if I can. So it's like, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of dead right now. I don't know what to say about that, but oh well. At least I got this. This is a really, really good steal of a deal. And, yeah, I know some people will say, isn't that a kid's show? Isn't that on Cartoon Network? <laughs> you watch a Cartoon Network show for kids? This isn't for kids, okay? I know they market it to a younger audience, but uh, marketing is one thing, and what the show actually is is entirely different. There is an episode of this show devoted to laser discs. Like, the whole show is about, or the whole episode is about laser discs. I wonder how many teenagers who watched this show that's apparently aimed at them know what laser discs are or knew what it were what they were before they saw this episode. Probably not very freaking many. The show as much as they want to market it to younger audiences, 
is totally and completely aimed at people in our age demographic. So don't give me that crap. The regular show is awesome. Can't deny it. Off of eBay, I managed to snag one that I've been trying to find for a decent deal for a while now, and one that's been on my wish list for a while as well, and that would be Fox and the Hound 1 and 2. I've never seen Fox and the Hound 2. Not really interested. Never really cared. But it's actually cheaper to get this double pack than it is to get like the main movie alone, and that's the one I want. Because the original Fox and the Hound is a great movie. It's a classic. A freaking treasure from Disney, if you ask me. Love the original Fox and the Hound, so I've had to get it. But, again, I've been waiting for a really good deal. And this one finally went down to, like, seven fifty something like that, on eBay. And I just went on there and immediately, buy. So I bought that sucker. So, uh, yeah. $7.50 for Fox and the Hound and Fox and the Hound 2 on Blu-ray. Not a bad deal. And everything came in really good condition. If you're wondering how I found this, I actually found it by doing a search on my Amazon wish list. I'll go on there routinely and try to look for things that are a little bit cheaper, a little bit more affordable. Uh, than they usually are and if I find something and I usually don't look at like the main prices on there I look at the used and new prices if you will the stuff being sold by other sellers not by directly by Amazon so if I see like a ridiculously low price there then I take note of that and in this case I went and I saw a ridiculously low price I saw about 750 and the first thing I do when I see a price that's like way lower than usual on there, $750 plus like $399 shipping because that's the way they have to do it, right? So I look over and I see the name, <laughs> the name of the seller, and I see that it's Declutter Store. Guess what, guys? Declutter is a service that routinely buys DVDs and Blu-rays from people for dirt cheap and then sells them again for dirt cheap on eBay and Amazon. On Amazon, they have to charge you the $3.99 shipping. On eBay, they don't charge you shipping. You get free shipping on almost everything from Declutter Store on eBay. The catch being, they put things at the exact same price on eBay as they do on Amazon. So where you're paying $3.99 more for shipping through Amazon, if you go and find the exact same item on eBay, you're going to be paying no shipping and get it for like four bucks less. So that is a recommendation I make to you. If you find something cheap on, on Amazon and you're like, well, this is a good price, but I don't want to pay the shipping or something like that, like I do frequently, check and make sure it's not from something like Declutter Store. Because if it is, then you can go on eBay, uh, you know, cross-reference try and find whether or not they have the same item on ebay for the same price and in this case they did so definitely a good deal here very glad i found that do your homework then last but not least i did show amazon some love not some using it to do research love but some actual here's my money love <laughs> and that would be by purchasing the criterion blu-ray for scanners this is actually a movie i have never seen which is again one reason i really need to see it because well i think we've all seen some of the gifts and scenes from the movie right like that there's that gif people love to use of the head exploding shot that uh, is so famous from this movie so yeah i'm when I saw that, I was like, what the hell is going on there? When I read into what the movie's actually about, it's like, holy crap, that sounds interesting. And, uh, yeah, David Cronenberg, well, you know you're going to get something really good. And this one went down to under $18 shipped on Amazon. So it was like seventeen thirty-eight or something like that. A really random price, but... A really, really good deal for a Criterion. Anytime you can get a Criterion Blu-ray under $20, it's a great deal, and you probably need to get it, especially if it's one that you really want. 
and this one was definitely one that I really wanted for my collection. Scanners, great freaking movie. Glad to finally have it in my collection and to have it uh, from a Criterion collection because can't go wrong with Criterion. But I'm even happier that it isn't in one of their regular standard Blu-ray cases because, you know, these are a lot more, typically a lot more rare. The, uh, the cardboard packaging like this is not as easy to find. They usually only do like one print run of it and then they go straight to the uh, regular Blu-ray cases. So when I saw it came in the uh, what appears at least to be the uh, first print run packaging, I was sold. I'm like, oh, that's sweet. I'm so happy about that. Paid less than usual for it. Less than $20. 17 bucks and some change. And I got the really awesome packaging to go with it so very cool stuff very happy to have gotten this and that is it that's the last thing that I got from thrift stores and from Amazon eBay and Mercari so yeah I would say that is a pretty good haul right there maybe not the best haul ever but I think I found some pretty interesting stuff I mean a lot of stuff here that's just I'm interested in it because of who is in it and who directed it, like Father's Day and Night Shift are perfect examples of that. Uh, brand new SNL best of sets, can't go wrong with that. Some paranormal action, can't go wrong with that. Some of the best new animated stuff you'll ever see. Some of the best old animated stuff you ever see. And, uh... A really a real mind-blowing experience <laughs> so yeah that uh, will do it for me thanks for watching you guys catch you later peace